Well then, jeez. Um, that that ended. Uh, here's. <laughs> no. Um, okay. That's uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I like how this eight bit. <clears throat> hey y'all. Hey ya, uh, outcast with vocals and an 8 bit duck is then followed by in the recommendations um, Metal Health by Bang Your Head, Quiet Riot, Razor Mind, Simon Vickla, uh, Vickland, Free Your Mind, In Vo uh, Vogue, In Vague. <laughs> uh, Lancer's theme. Once in a lifetime by Talking Heads. I'm gonna use this. Okay, so anyways, um, so yeah, this is a, a game that's been on my radar for a little bit. This is the, uh, Legacy Collection of The Last Stand, and, um, yeah, it's just an easier way to play these, uh, versions of the game. Ow, my ears. I'm sorry. Let me turn it down. Uh, hold on. That's a little better. Let me turn it up just a tiny bit. Okay. So this is, um, last stand, um, full screen off, full screen on. Okay. So yeah, this is the last stand legacy collection. We have th three games here that we can bus mess around with. The last stand... April 26, 2007. Uh, step into the shoes of Jack, a survivor who finds himself in the midst of a massive zombie outbreak. Search for weapons, survivors, and repair your barricade during the day. And then fend off the hordes until um, rescue arrives. This is your last stand. Last stand 2. Same situation. Except it's 20 days. You have 40 days Oh, okay, you have 40 days to reach Union City, and then Union City, which is the... an actual kind of, like, a, a different kind of game. This is it. Welcome. Let me turn it up just a little bit. It might be a little too quiet there. If I turn down my volume, it'll be quieter. Hold on. Let me turn it down for you. Just a little bit. Not too loud, you know? Okay, what are the instructions? Yeah, okay. Not a surprise. Alright. <clears throat> if you don't know about this game, this game's really simple. You have... Uh, limited amount of resources you then you shoot a, a pistol and you kill zombies and then after every day you have a certain amount of time to where you can dedicate to and on complete by complete random chance um, you could potentially um, get absolutely nothing and completely finish with nothing the last stand I finished the wall today it should hold them off for a while I hope Tomorrow, I better look for survivors and something better to protect myself with. I have to get through the night first. It's day one. So here we are. We're playing as this guy. Welcome to, um, the button clicker game. Actually, I could cheat. So I don't have to completely destroy my my mouse for this game yeah I think I'm gonna cheat 
I have a crappy mouse that should do the job just fine. Let me see if this works. This is like a third party mouse that has a turbo button on it. In games like this, you gotta save those clicks. I'm gonna plug this in and hope that it works. First time plugging anything up there, really. Actually, no, second time. Okay, yep, it works. Okay. Okay, that's better. Alright, so we have our new mouse for, for now. Move it over. I'm gonna move my actual mouse over to like here. Okay. Alright, so now uh, we dedicate some time. We can repair the barricade. Five. So we'll keep that at 90. We should search for weapons, mostly, and then like three first survivors, but mostly put, put most of our time into weapons. We found one survivor and we barricaded uh, the repairs or whatever. So I'm going to be using this turbo button, it says here. One beef and black bean. Huh. Okay. We have a survivor now, so we can actually... They'll do things. So yeah, I'm using the turbo button now so I don't have to... Aim for the heads. It's actually faster to spam it. Dude. This guy did absolutely nothing. Okay. I'm just gonna use this mouse to... So, 10... So, 60, 70, 80. Okay. Search for weapons. Maybe search for survivors. We'll do it like... Hold on. So, 53, so 63, 73, 83, 93. And then, do that. We found a revolver, and we found one survivor. That's good. Okay, so now we have more survivors. We have the backup. Okay. This is working out. Look at that. Bam. That's what's up. We're actually getting work done. Okay. Let's do that. And then just focus on looking for weapons and survivors. We found a UMP, and we lost a person. Okay, that's not good, but it'll work out. We found a UMP, let's go. Oh my god.
damn. Okay. All right. Well, shit. So, 60, 70, 80, 90. And then search for weapons and then search for people. We'll do it like this. Four, four, and four. Okay, so we found another survivor. Okay. That works for me. Let's try this again, but this time... Jeez. This makes me want to play like Black Ops Zombies with the boys. Jesus. Okay. Okay, so. Pump most of the hours into that. So, seven. And then look for weapons like that. No weapons or anything. Okay. Well, shit. We need a new gun. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, the findometer. That's right. Okay. I think the weapon still takes time to look for. Wait, so. 95. Yeah, that's fine. And then two of the weapons, and then that. Found a shotgun. Okay. We didn't find any new members, but that's fine. Okay, so we're going to switch this out for the shotgun. Shotgun should be able to clear some enemies. Another game I need to I need to be playing. We need to put all of our points. So, um, 23, so, uh, 30, 40, 50, 60, whatever, like that. 80, okay. We should probably look for survivors like this. Spend more of our time doing that. Yeah, okay, we got another person. That's good. All right. 
Good shit, good shit. I'm hoping that we can find uh, the chainsaw. Because the chainsaw was the best weapon in this game. And I mean it. Basically the best, like, enemy clearing weapon. That should be fine. Keep looking for weapons. And survivors, pretty much, like this. Okay. Got another survivor, that's good. And we're pretty much set. Again. Look at us. We're a full team of people now. just need to keep mowing these guys down. Oh yeah, by the way, I was pretty sure there's a diary for every day and I just forgot entirely. My bad. I didn't even realize there was more diaries. Unless there's not, and I don't, I don't realize it. Nice. Let me see, is there a diary that I didn't realize? I'll have to find it. Okay, so I'll do that and then look for the weapon. Survivors. It's like this. Found the chainsaw. Let's go. Okay, that's good. Alright, let me see. Is there a diary? There is. I've been missing all of them. Prison broke. A prison bus from over at Emerald uh, must have been carrying one of them. Uh, killed a dozen of them at least. Better than prison, I guess. Yeah, I guess I couldn't read the day five one. That's okay. So we'll do the UMP and the chainsaw. All right, we got the chainsaw pretty much. So we're we're set for dealing with. literally solo this with just the chainsaw. Look at that. That's that is efficiency. Oh my god. That is efficiency, man. Alright, so we're gonna pump a bunch of time into doing weapons for now. Just all of our time in the weapons. We lost the body, but we got a sawed-off shotgun. What's better than- what's- I guess the sawed-off shotgun would be longer or something. I don't know. But we did lose somebody, so I guess we're gonna have to dump more time into finding people again. But we have the chainsaw, so I guess everything's okay in the world.
it literally just straight up reloaded. <laughs> what? Okay, do that, and then search for survivors, and then continue searching for people, or whatever you call it. Okay, so we found two survivors, but we lost one, so we're just back to where we had before. Or what we had before. I guess I should probably try out this, since I haven't yet. Brrrr. We can have like one other person in our group. So that and then search for weapons. So five hours and then dump the rest into finding people. There we go. Hunting rifle. That's a good one. So we have the gang has a last stand or something. Sniper rifle is good. Here's the sniper rifle. It can like shoot through other enemies. So it's like a multi-shot kind of thing. Wow. <laughs> no vacancy. Okay. So, just dump all the points into finding weapons, I guess. Ah, uh, we lost somebody. Okay. Uzi. Let's try the Uzi. Not as good as a sniper. Not as good as a sniper. A shame. Okay. Dump some points into that, and then dump some points into that. Let's see. No! We keep losing people. God damn it. Any new... Day 15. TV. So much for contact to the outside. The TV reception disappeared last night. I guess they finally got into the station. Looks like this might be uh, it soon anyway. Well, go back to the sniper. I lost another person.
Sniper is good. Jeez. Okay. Um, search for survivors mostly, and then search a little bit for that. I need to get my survivors back. Here we go. M4A1. Okay. This is good. Day 16. Running low. We've exhausted pretty much all the food in the area. Why did I choose somewhere so far from the cities? Guess we need to make the decision to move out or not. It's just getting so dangerous. I don't know. We're, we're holding down the fort pretty well. We just have one more gun we need to get, and then we... We got them all, baby. Yeah, the sniper rifle is just so good. So, I don't know. One more weapon to look for. Let's see if we can find it. And lose, like, somebody in the process. Nope. Look at that. Soldier. Ray of hope today. I had a soldier approach the barrier tonight, albeit a dead one. But if he's around, maybe there's others ho alive, hopefully. I don't know about that. We're gonna switch back to the sniper. <laughs> the sniper's just too good. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. Like, two more days in that, and then... Oh, I don't know. Note to self, oh, I don't know. We lost a person. AK-47, we got it. Final gun. It's an AK-47. Alright, let's do this. Are you winning? Yes. I am, in fact, winning. I'm on the winning team. This reminds me of that Ahoy video. You know, the one where he, um... Where he talks about the AK-47. He's... That? Talks about the... The funny gun. I think it's like... The Kaleshnikov or something? Do it. 
Weapon found when full? I don't think there's any more weapons you can find. I think it's like this. There we go. We found a survivor. We did it. Come here, duck. It is, in fact, a duck. Proud of you. Army! The army. Um, seems the military presence here are all dead. We started making preparations to get out of here. Okay. Back to the, um, back to the sniper. Is there, like, one more weapon I'm missing that I haven't gotten yet? Because if that's the case, then I'm just gonna dump all my points into f finding the, uh, the last weapon. Oh my god, a clown! Nice. Got him. I do like that this game has um <clears throat> achievements. That's cool. I'm I'm assuming the achievements are from the Armor Games website or I guess Congregate as well. Or whatever website that adds achievements to them. Man, I miss I miss Flash. Such a good era of gaming. Right there. You know what? Shot. Get out of here. It was a good era, I must say. Okay, back to dumping all my points into it, searching for the final weapon. A barrette. That's the final weapon is a barrette? Okay. I have the, the last weapon in the game, pretty much. Which is a giant anti-material rifle. How does that... How did that armor take an entire anti-material rifle to it? Oh yeah, just casually take a... a, a Dude! What are you made out of? We did it, we did it, we did it, we survived. Good job guys, good job team. We made it, survivor. But no achievement for getting all the weapons in the game. Survived 20 days and nights. Where from here? Who knows, it's a new day. Sure is. Let me actually look at the achievements. Maybe I missed it. Last stand two, 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 last stand Union City. Die during your last stand, first death. Die during your second last stand, first death. And first death Union City, die during your last stand, first death Union City. Okay. I got all the uh, thing. Continue from night 20, that's cool. I guess that's in the game originally. Okay, how do I how do I go back to the menu? 
I guess exit game. Okay. Last Stand 2. It's 2008. After surviving 20 days and nights. Is that- Oh, that's when they released this. Uh, Jack and his fellow survivors are evacuated by military helicopter, but there is an infected on board. Jack is the only one to survive the crash, and now he must reach the evacuation point by foot. We have 40 days to survive. Or to make it to Union City or whatever. This one's um, immediately... Continue from last travel location. Yeah, this one's immediately, like, harder. That's it. It's over. Safe at last. He's infected. Forty days. It's been a month. Back at square one. The crash still haunts me. They're still everywhere. Radio broadcasts say, uh, said today that they're stealing uh, off the mainland. Forty days until the last boats and aircraft leave. Got to make it to Union City. Okay. Rocking the beard. <sighs> it's happening again. So we're gonna look um, at all these places. Check here. Here. And then... How much does the barricade do? Five points, okay. So we'll do two. Check here. And I guess we'll do that. Wait. How much points is this? Three? Three, four, 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 five, three, three. So three, three, three. Except. Survivors found one. Supplies gathered one. What does that mean? Supplies. We have enough supplies for one day's travel. Uh, okay. I see. We just have a pistol right now. Okay. Got it. So we have to be careful because in the second one, um, our teammates can actually get killed by a zombie. So we just have to be careful. Alright, we're safe. For now. 75. Okay, that should be okay. Okay, so we have to do that. The park storage. Okay, lose a point so we can check one of these, um, like this house. Okay. We found a gas uh, cylinder and a chainsaw. That's good, we got the chainsaw. Chainsaw is a good weapon to have. And then uh, we can actually place some of these here. So we could actually place this here. And we could place one here. And uh, we could place one here. That should be okay. Oh, I forgot to hit set up traps. Oh, no, I didn't. So if we have the chainsaw, we can use it and as like a backup thing. Good. Good shit. Okay. 75. Okay. And then 80. Okay. So we could do the supermarket. Let's do the quick stop. This one. And 
That's about it, pretty much. Actually, there's these two. We'll do that. Okay. We found a bear trap. Okay. And supplies gathered. Okay. Alright. Rip. Okay. Let's do this again. Um, old house, big house, and then, uh, I can't do anything else, pretty much, except put two, two points into that. That's fine. Do I have a diary in this one, or no? I found a survivor, though. Okay. Bear traps. Got it. <laughs> Alright, so this is probably going to be... I'm just going to search this whole... I don't think there's anything else interesting on this level, so we're just gonna move on. I'll keep searching just because, but yeah, let's let's just search all these. Fine, we'll travel. Claysburg or whistle. I guess this one. Take a hike. Alright. Whistler's Grove. Basements. Not a fan, but it's a necessity at this, uh, at the moment. Built for a crude bear- build a crude pa crude barricade upstairs to hold them off tonight. Should do the trick. Don't have much time or energy to build anything substantial. Best bet is to find what I can and keep moving towards Union City. All houses. Who are here. I guess check this. Uh, which is a big one. Medical center. This. And then do like a four one. This one. Okay. Supply, supplies gathered. Nothing else was found. Oh, actually, we have a revolver now. I guess give one of these guys a gun, and then set bear traps. That should be okay. Survive, baby. I guess for the for the army zombies, just aim for the legs. That usually works, I guess. I don't. I think I remember that was like one of my tactics in that one, or in this one. Was well, just to do that. Fifty, sixty. Okay, we'll do that, and then keep searching. Where's like the big ones? Okay, so four. Let's. What if I hit like all threes? Oh, this one's a five. 
Okay. Let's see. Wow, nothing. Except for supplies to help with traveling. Yeah, there's like nothing else here, pretty much. As far as I can tell. We might as well just move on. Run like a beanie and everything. Oh, God. Whew. Yeah, I don't know if there's any more reason to keep going. <laughs> In this place, at least, it doesn't seem like it's a. Uh, it has anything. So let's just move on. As far as I can tell. I don't know. I have no idea. Aspenwood or Jonestown. I guess Aspenwood. <laughs> Middle of nowhere. Haven't heard anything more uh, on the radio about the Evacuation can only hope they stick to their time frame. Don't like my chances of finding much here. Best uh, to do to get what I can and keep moving on. Union City or bust. Yeah, get the zomb zombies. Let me see. Store, a store, farmhouse, old house. Let's do the old house and the gas station. I don't think there's anything else I can get from these. Okay. Yeah, I can't... I can't dump these points into anything else. The gang has another last stand. Have five survivors. Jesus, okay. The gang's all here. I could probably use the... Let me remove the revolver and give me the sawed off shotgun and give it to this guy. Okay. Jesus, dude. This was a close call. Whew, that was a close call. Oh my god. Okay, so... 20... 30... 40. That should be okay. Alright, we want to do the sheriff's office. And the diner. Okay. We have no uh, supplies right now. Okay, we have some supplies. <gasps> Hunting rifle, yes! Okay, that's good. That's good shit. We apparently lost a, a person though, so that's not good. But, I'm gonna put this right here. Okay. Let's do this. Hunting rifle is really good. What the f- No!
god. Actually, okay, we can just leave and move on to the next place. We got the we got the hunting rifle. I think we're good. Let's just move on. <laughs> we'll go to here, Jonestown. All right, twenty days left, and then we can move on to Union City. Last stop, Union City is only a few days from here. Better hurry, miss that boat. I get a feeling it's all over. Okay. We should search, um, houses, whatnot, search all these places, police station, um, let's do it like that, see if we can get some survivors, we got a survivor and we got an M4A1, okay, I should give the M4A1 to one of these guys should work. Okay. Good shit. Now we need to get supplies. So camping store, apartment. Apartment, apartment, a store. Any supplies? We found two supplies. So we have three supplies worth of travel. I think we need more. Okay. So far so good. All right. I completely forgot to repair the, um, to repair the, uh, the thing. So, um, rip. My God. Okay. Yeah, we 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 cut it close there. Oh, we can actually travel to it. Never mind. We made it. Wait, we need six. Oh fuck. Okay. Then um yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait wait wait. I should probably add more time to this, honestly. And then try to find one where it's three. Okay. 
Found two supplies and we we restored enough points to repair. Still have not found another survivor, but that's okay. Shit's intense. Like I have to like fucking focus. I can't just Okay, we need one more bit of supplies left pretty much. Um this one's only two. This one's a four. Okay. Last stop. Union What is that there for? Okay, now we have enough to do it, so we just need to survive and then we're good from here. Better hurry. Okay, got it. Uh Wait, what? Yeah. Okay. What well, what the hell was going on there? Okay, AK47. Would it be better than the... I don't know, but here you go. Come on. Do that. Okay. Not too shabby, not too shabby. We're making it, you know? Getting, it, getting work done. It's a good idea I gave, uh, gave them a... Uh Alright, we did it. Let's get out of here. Let's travel. We did it! We made it. Final destination. Union City. We made it. At last. Union City, safe at last. It's finally over. Except, not really. Except, not really. <laughs> Exit. We got Last Stand Union City. Amidst the chaos of a zombie apocalypse, you must survive Union City by scavenging for food, weapons, and other supplies. You must fight off the zombies' infected population and help fellow survivors to complete your mission. Find your partner before you s uh... Yeah. Before you die and stuff. New story. We got a new character. We're gonna do, um... Character needs food and sleep to survive. Ammunition is rare. Run and gun. Weapons and ammo are more plentiful. Character does not need to eat or sleep. 
We're gonna do survivor. Wait, hold on. Back. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Exit. Hold on. Go back to this. Uh, new game. This guy. John Smith. Okay. Enable hardcore. Hardcore mode. Character only has one life. And, um, <clears throat> loot is... Character only has one life and loot is better. Sure. And we'll do, um, headshots only. Enables headshots only mode. Aim for the head. I guess we'll do survivor. Daniel Johnson. Ian Peterson. Corey Martin. George King. No. Gregory Wright. I kind of like Gregory Wright. How about this one? Gene. Gene. Gene Wright. Hmm. Ponytail? Ponytail's kind of based. I feel like Gene's the kind of guy that would be like this. I like how this is called bald, but he has hair. Shaved. Maybe shaved. We'll do this one. Black hair. Tanned. Wait, so we have white, brown, black, pale, and olive. Kind of like olive. Shadow, full beard, goatee, soul patch, mutton chops, 1980s. Kind of like that, my 1980s. His name's Gene, by the way. Kind of like the beard. We could do the 1980s, but I don't know. Lincoln. Let's do the beard. This one's kind of nice. Gene. Gene Wright. Guy that kind of looks like Nico Bellic. The mustache. Yeah, this is fine, maybe. Um. I'm trying to find a good look. I guess this. This and this, uh, that's a little too much. I guess this. That's fine. Construction, engineer, hunter, survivalist, a PI, private investigator. It's kind of fun. P uh, PI. Firefighter. Security guard. IT technician. Martial artist. Farmer. Law enforcement. Military. 
con artist. Emergency medical technician. Service in the military makes you a valuable asset. I feel like the mil military makes sense in terms of the character. Pers uh, a private investigator would do pistols, searching, security, and blunt. Military would be automatics, pistol, survival, and special weapons. I guess I could do private investigator. Or I could just do um, none of these and just do cre uh, create a custom. And then just put my points into these. Uh, intellect. Precision. Nah. We'll do- we'll do private investigator. That sounds fun. Last stand, Union City. I need to get a drink. So... Created by Chris Condon. Condon. Condon? 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 James Cusson. Hey, it's that one game. Oh my god. A Aaron Booth. Arg. Yeah. Ugh. Got to get home. Why do I have like a backpack on? How do I have like this massive backpack on? I have ten dollars in cash. Huh. Aw. Oh. Alright, let me let me go um grab a drink and then um Yeah. Wait, what time is it? I would say get some G fuel, but I'm not trying to get caffeine into me when I wanna go to bed. So probably not a good idea. Also I'm gonna switch um mouse to use my actual mouse now. So, do that. And then I'm gonna get a drink. And, um, do all that stuff. So now we're using my actual mouse. Oh my god, it feels so much better. Okay. <laughs> You're right. Okay. Let's do this. <sighs> Union City. The last, last, last stand. This one's also a decent size, too. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, you can jump for some reason and crouch. A pistol and other stuff. Okay. Damaged? What do they mean by damage? Do that and then this. All 
All right, let's go. What the hell is going on here? Nice. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, this is supposed to be a pretty good one, so... Oh, let me reload. Maybe if you crouch... Okay, so you shoot better if you crouch. Missed. Okay. This is cool. Hello, anybody home? Hello? A wood board? An O-ring? I'll take the O-ring. Cooking oil. So what, this does 10 damage. I'll look into it, because it looks like it actually could be better than my current weapon. Which is 7 damage, so this actually is better. A, a, a wooden board, a, a, a piece of wood is better than a tire iron. Where's Wilmo? Book. Bottled water. Alright, where's Wilmo? Now I have plus four to searching skill. Those, those are uh, permanent. Make sure I'm reloaded. We're going to go upstairs and kill... Damn it, empty. Better go into town. Got it. Okay. I keep hitting the wrong thing. Yeah, you gotta always look in these because sometimes you'll find some goodies. Also, it is a little quiet, so I'm gonna turn it up in this instance. There we go. Okay. Ready to hit the town. This is a long shirt white. Baseball bat heavy. So it does 13 damage. And it, and it uh, also has more knockback. Long shirt white. I guess I'll do the regular shirt. Safe house. So markings mean that there's a safe house. Cargo pants green. Green cargo pants with stylish functional pockets. Sure. Whoa! I can level up. Special weapons survival. Guess that. Searching. Okay. Like that. That's pretty good. One point. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, intellect. Ten. Confirm. I am now smarter. My brain is expanded. I guess I'm gonna wear funny pants. I'm sorry. I just moved in. Are you one of the neighbors? I guess that doesn't matter now. You're safe here. This all started a few days ago. People just started killing each other. The ones they killed, they didn't stay dead. He takes a second to compose himself. Stay here and rest up. I've got Sarah and Peter from next door staying in my room upstairs. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome sleep. Uh, what? You're welcome sleep on the floor here if you need to. Where's the you? Uh, you're welcome to. I mean, you're welcome to sleep here. Where are these? Oh, here's the th the 
here's the premium uh, shit that we're not going to worry about. A kitchen knife. Duel. Books. A wild man once said. Got a uh, bada boom bada bing. Who are you? Oh god. You're not one of them, thank god. Jackson was kind of uh, was kind enough to take us in. He secured the the place as best as he could. I don't think they're go getting in here anytime soon. My husband has lost it. He wants to leave. I think he it's best we stay here and wait this thing out, right? Anyway, good luck finding your way. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Bandana. I don't think clothes do anything. So, the man looks visibly shaken. Oh God, oh, oh God, oh God. Why, why won't they stop? Why is this happening? They already took my kids. What do they want from me? Like, we have to leave. We have to leave. The bags are packed and ready. We can go. We can go now. I have to find my wife. <laughs> I need food here. Eat an orange. And then eat another orange. And then eat another orange. Something. Like, man. What the hell is this? Ammo, PPM9, sunglasses, round. Okay. How's my weight? I can carry a lot. Good. That's all I need. So this is, um, hold on. Weapon. So, this is worse than this. Well, accuracy is better, though. So, 4.4, 4, 1.6. 7 and 7. 10 and 1. So, even though the accuracy is worse, um, it's better than this. Okay. Yeah. My guy's so cool. And badass and cool. Yeah, sometimes the ceiling collapses and there's like a bunch of zombies that come and attack you. Out of nowhere. Damage four. Oh, can't do anything with that. Uh. Yeah. We're leaving. I'm already wearing cargo shorts that are green. It's a waste. Pasta. Chocolate. Nothing in there. Okay. I don't need those darn tootin'. Oh, 
Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. All right, so we get better loot from there. So this is the better version. We're gonna use this one. Screw that version. And this is a, a, a claw hammer, which is like kind of cool, I guess, but not as good as, as the classic, whatever you call it, baseball bat. I gotta reload. I just don't have ammo in my weapon. The heck am I thinking? I just shouldn't be using a, a pistol. Not as good as the one that I'm using. Shame. This is a pretty cool room though. We have Modern Battlefield 4, Maximum Extreme 3, Hip Hop Ninja, Battlecraft, and I guess that says... I don't know what that says actually. It sounds pretty cool. I think like one of the strategies is to... Um not get hit but also I think you need to push them away like this and then hit them I think make sure you run yeah you see that epic strategy just push him away for crying in too there needs to be mod for mods for this game, or I can just play a, a different, like, a, just a survival game. I was thinking of doing the long dark at some point, but I haven't, I haven't planned, like, made my mind, made up my mind on if I wanted to or not. Because, our um, long dark is, is a different kind of survival game. Hey, buddy. Shuffling, rambling things. They still downstairs. I'm too old for this business. Hold on, I'll help this guy. Don't worry, man. I'm gonna help you out. I can level up first, though. Yeah, no, no, no. Like that. Like that that and then pistols um there we go and then luck when well, they mentioned downstairs Whoa, a PPM9 pistol with an extended mag. What the heck? Do I have to... Okay, so I did the downstairs. Maybe I have to talk to him now. Arg, what do you want? Maybe he just doesn't do anything. I guess he doesn't do anything. Okay. Actually. So this does 12, 4, 7, 7, 8, 6, 1, 10. So it does less damage, but it has more ammo. We can give it a try. That is a lot of ammo. Hi. Goggles. Wait, 
Wait, what? What? Do you, what? Okay, whatever. Death Adder, forty-five. Okay. A Death Adder. There's a key to open. Well, I took all the shots that I needed. I'm just gonna switch to this. And then switch back to my actual weapon. Hockey stick. Damn. Hockey stick. Handgun owner. I could use that. Oh yeah, how am I doing on food? Very well fed. Good. Spoon. Get out of here. Shoe. Nice, I got a critical hit. Massive, massive damage. Massive damage. Huh. So I need a key to get into here. Okay, the military is, uh, put a fence up a few days ago blocking the road. We need something to cut through. I know Ray at number 12 is a pair of bolt cutters. Okay. Okay. Got him. What? What's that? That old bastard, eh? Ed sent you, huh? Bolt cutters? He borrowed them weeks ago and never returned them. Probably next door to the sneaking garage. Tell him that he's still got the damn thing. The silly, silly goober still has it. What? I have them. Hmm, maybe I didn't return them. Here's the key to my garage. Go find them. Bruh. Bruh. Shouldn't be any zombies in here. Bag of nails. Crowbar. 15 damage. Roll of tape. Peanuts. Medical mask. I don't know what this does, but I'll wear it. Why not? Baseball bat. So that does 13, but a crowbar does 15. So we're going to do that. Bolt cutters. We found them. Okay. Did you find those bolt cutters yet? It's the only way we're getting through here. Here they are. Cool, you got them. I sure did. Let's go into the Whistler's Forest. Alright, welcome to, um, Fun Zone. Huh. 
Hello? Hey there, friend. My brother and father... Uh, my brother and our father friends here ran into some car troubles. There's a small town just down the road. A smidge. Um, you wouldn't mind going in and picking up some gas, a fan belt, and some tools, would you now? We'd go out... Uh, we'd go, but we have to, uh, protect their friends here. I'm sure friend... Okay. So we need to find stuff. Talk to my brother. Okay. I'm gonna go inside the forest area now. Bye. Next area. Level up. Also, I need to level up. Okay, so blunt. And then searching. And fitness. And pistols. And luck. Oh god. Okay. Oh god. Ow, fuck. Okay, so we want to keep going to, like, the dead ends from what it says here. Down arrows lead you out of the forest and up arrows lead you to uh, into the forest. More into it. the hell? Uh, okay. Hold on. I, I just got a, a... I just got a, a Spec Ops MP5. Which... Does a bunch of damage. And is silenced. Yeah, I should probably heal. Also, I should eat. Can I pick it up? I'm gonna go this way. Okay, there's nothing here. Also, I leveled up again. So I'm gonna do that. And I don't know if this is like a special weapon or not. I don't know. Precision would be good. Uh, and then... Survival. Searching. I think I, yeah, I already searched that. Is that Nico Kato Avocado?
Yeah, what ammo does this use? This uses 9mm. Okay. Makes sense. So, machete does 26 damage. I guess I'm going to use that. This does 33 damage. Use the shovel. Why does it do so much damage? That that takes us out. Yeah, it takes us out. So we keep going. To the next area. And then we need to sleep, of course. Okay, so there's only one that takes us up, which we need to keep going into the forest. So. Oh. Oh, nice. Blood sample. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. That's unfair. Um. Yeah, we should definitely take maximum health, huh? Um. Searching. Blunt. Blades. Definitely. Okay. Keep going. What the fuck's going on? What? What? Okay. Well, thanks game. Kind of bullshit. I guess it's it's still going. Because I can still play. So I'm just going to keep playing and pretend that nothing happened. I think that's the one I need to go into. Where the fuck is the, the funny cabin? There it is. Did Lisa send you? How did you find me out here? What's the situation in Union City, soldier? Hmm, tell me. Not a talker, huh? Okay, very well. I've been working on some improvised hunting tools. If you're going to be part of my platoon, I'd at least, at least be equipped for the job. What are you talking about? Best be equipped for the job. What does he mean by that? 
Okay, whatever. I guess I need to be equipped for the job. Do I have any canned corn? Okay. I need to heal. That's what I need to do. So I just need to just straight up leave. Got another blood sample. I don't know what the blood samples do though. Hello. Random tint. This is kind of neat. Not what, I, not what I'm looking for, though. Okay. Wow. Precision. Oh, because I'm tired. Okay. Oh, shit. Um. Smarts. Strength. I'm full health again. Keep going. I need to sleep. There it is. I need to get the frick out of here. And then immediately go to bed. Go, 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 go. Get me the heck out of here. <sighs> At least the hardcore mode is a lie. And it doesn't actually just end your game. I probably should have shouldn't take it considering it actually doesn't kill you. Oh my god, is that even human? Ham. <laughs> Just sleep for ten hours and see what happens. Now my character needs to eat. Great. Can of ham. And then we'll worry about the, all that stuff afterwards. Okay. Now we got a gun and stuff. We got a really good gun out of that. So there we go. Right, hand them over so we can... What's going on? It's like the game glitched. Why is the game glitched?
Uh oh. I might actually have to genuinely restart the game. Because it's glitched. The hardcore mode probably shouldn't have been an option I turned on. But, I don't know. Huh. Let me just play this as if I, I started a new game, maybe. Maybe that'll work. For whatever reason, everything's basically reset, so... I'll just go into... I don't know. Go into here. Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay. I'll take the money. It's like we're it's like we're in our own little groundhog day scenario. Make 40 lucky finds. G17 damaged. I guess that's lucky. Canned beans. Find a way into Brookville or whatever. Okay. Oh god. I got spooked. He has nothing to say to me. What? Go away. What'd I do? Yo, sunglasses. Okay. So if I go inside this house... Then everything's gonna be reset pretty much. need to get a key to unlock that. Every time you search these, you actually get XP. There's no zombies this time? Okay. I need to just get rid of all my garbage. But first, let me take a selfie. Asta. Num num num.
What do you mean? If I go out here. Okay. Yeah, we 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 failed pretty much. Unless I cancel travel. It has to restart. I go save. Your game has been saved. Save and quit. I quit the game completely. Exit. And then play. Game starts. Union City. Right? Continue with this character. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. We have to restart. What a shame. Yeah, no, no hardcore mode. It glitches it, apparently. So you can't continue. Even though it lets you play the character. It's like a weird... Edward Rodriguez. That's fine. Edward Ro Rodriguez is going to look like this. Edward Rodriguez is going to be a luck build. And intelligence. We're going to do that. Strength. Precision. Endurance. Good enough. It's going to be in searching. Uh, pistols. Wait, sorry, blunt in the survival. Can only do one, okay. Smarts. Okay. Security. There. Skip. Arg. Damn it, what the hell was that? I gotta get home. You are a mystery character. Congrats. We don't know what you are. You're gonna be, uh, uh, something else. What the hell is going on here? We're gonna go back into the forest because there's good loot in there, though. Hello, anybody home? Nobody said that this game was going to be, um, put together well. Usually I don't run into any issues, but I guess that's because I never played on hardcore mode. And you think that the hardcore mode would actually delete it, but it doesn't. It just glitches it out for the rest of the time. Goggles. Just talk to them just in case. We're going to speed run this. Sorry. That was a really good find though. So it's it's sucks that it's gone. Can put more points into luck. Precision.
Wow, PPM pistol military mode though. Better. It's time to kill and it's time to die. There's no zombies. None. Baseball bat, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, the baseball bat, now peanut butter jelly. Does 10? This has better knockback. My guy looks like an oaf. got this t-shirt black you know I'm wondering if um if this just <sighs> pipe heavy Pipe, claw hammer, can of paint. Just wondering why this is just always in here. All right, go talk to that guy. Hi. Yep. Coins, glasses big, book. Okay. I just want to play, um. What are you talk? Uh, I want to play, um. Fallout New Vegas again. It just, it just makes me really want to play that right now. I guess you want to do it after the fact. Come on, let's put on the cool sunglasses. Wow, so cool. Checkered shirt. Level up. Endurance, uh, precision, uh, luck. Special weapons, automatic pistols. There we go. Searching. Confirm. More cash. More good shit. You missed, idiot. You missed. Crowbar. No Z. No Z Z Z Z Z Z bolt cutters. Okay. Um. What was I looking for? Doing okay on food. Wow, man. Chocolate. Go over here. Road out of town. Let's hope we find a god tier. USP pist- dead, op dead ops or a special ops pistol. Whatever it's called. I never talked to these guys. These look like bandits.
think this goes to a dead end. It does not. Now I'm kind of curious. Where does this go? Onto a road? Wait, where does this go? This goes into a house? Okay, so there's a house. So this is like a small neighborhood or something? Good thing I checked this. An Uzi suppressed. Okay. Just a... Just a, just an Uzi, you know, just hanging out here. Suppressed Uzi, just, you know, doing its thing. Key, a safe key. Key to small safe at Whistler's Forest. There's a small safe at Whistler's Forest that I just didn't know. Army camouflage pants not blending in yada 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 bottle cap, which I, I don't know why I picked that up It was like instinct for me to just pick that up on accident Like there was no reason for me to do that Wonder if these will be currency I have a military pistol and a Epic pants and stuff Let me reload that Let's give it a try. Oh. Cheap socket shifter. This shouldn't have any noise, but it does. A gallon of gas. There's a lot of stuff here for missions, huh? Just 50 bucks just hanging out in there. Jesus. 20. I need my precision up. And then that's for aiming, right? Yeah. Okay. Security. Survival. Shotgun. I could use that. Literal shotgun. There's nothing else in here. It's just an empty room. It just just doesn't make any sense. This house is small. There's not even like a bathroom or anything. The hell? This is a safe room. <laughs> Sir, you have to help me. It's my brother Terry. He went off his meds a few weeks ago and he disappeared. Then this whole thing happened. I know I don't. And now I don't have any hope of finding him on my own. I think he's probably in his reserve. Uh, probably gone to his cabin out in the nature reserve. If you think you could. If I could give you directions, do you think you could look for him? Here's how you get to the cabin. Go left, turn right at the pond, go past the old fence, take path up, go left, stick to the path. Yeah, I know what to do. He's in the cabin. I know how to get to it. Beep jerky and stuff. I could use this bed to sleep. I left the city and abandoned the HERC outpost I was assigned to. 
are doing terrible things to civilians. Unspeakable things. I mean, I'm just a hematologist. I didn't want to be a part of it. I'm trying to find some way to fix this. The infection or, or originated out here somewhere. And I think that maybe just maybe the, the answers are out here too in the blood. Help me gather samples from the corpses out in this area, will you? Of course. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how many, how much hours of sleep you need to fix. I'm going to do both of these. I'm going to keep looking out here real quick and then I will continue onward. Police baton. That's pretty good. A sledge? Okay. Why is like the gear over here like god tier? Okay, so pipe would be third. So this does 10. This is 13. This is 15. And then this sledgehammer is 30. Just use a f fucking this thing. 30 damage from just one swing. A literal katana. Okay. A literal death adder. Okay. Literally nothing in here. Okay, then. This place is pretty good. A warehouse key. Okay. Automatics. I should definitely turn this up. Turn up the, the heat, fitness, and then turn up luck. Better loot and stuff. A hatchet, but it's dull. Medical mask. I guess I'll get the medical mask. I don't know if that would actually help. I guess I'll take the hatchet. That's everything in this area, so we're gonna move on. How much food do I need? Oh, I need to eat. Alright, so we're gonna go through here and do do all the gamer stuff like before, but we're gonna be gamer about it. Yeah, like that. Medical mask. Keep going. Gotta get blood samples. Okay.
Ouais. Kill 100 infected. I've done that. I think there's a uh, tent over here, right? Also a blood sample, but anyways. I'm hoping to find a shovel. Again. Okay. I should probably up my other things as well. Like this. Searching. Fitness. Blunt. Security. Okay. This is a waste of time. So I guess the ones with backpacks are the ones I should be attacking. Because they actually have loot on them. Got it. Yeah, I already searched that one. Okay. So it must be... Save and quit. This happens, uh, this happened again. Yeah, that's, that's like a glitch or something. Am Ambrose shotgun. Into a, a scoped Uzi. Rather than a regular Uzi. Okay. Did Lisa send you? How'd you find me out of here? What's the situation? I'm uh, not a talker. I found Jacob. And he's, he's being crazy right now. He's being an absolute psycho right now. Also, I need to heal. Kill an enemy while airborne. I 
I've already killed 500 infected. How? Oh shit. A M4A1. Okay. That's cool. Never seen that before. So that's new. So now I have an M4A1 that I could equip. But it, it takes 556 ammo. I was hoping to find the tent. Here's the pond. Yeah, I was hoping to find the tent. Here's the blood sample. Yeah, okay. Alright. Wait, is there more zombie activity at night? Good to know. Oh, this must be where the tent is. Over here. Since I've never been here before. Yeah. There it is. Wow. We found it. Okay, cool. Well, I found the military box. So. 13. Pistols. Automatics. Searching. You do not want to keep going further in. We want to go further out. Not in. There's a shovel. Alright, we got a shovel. Where is it? Disappeared on me? That's not fair. The... There it is. <laughs> I wonder how this would play with the controller. I guess it would be okay. It's not like... I mean, it's not like you have to aim that much, honestly, so... Maybe being on controller wouldn't be that bad. Here's the blood sample. Key to clinic. Alright, I need at least four sample vitals. I did. Okay, so he gave me a clinic key. Excellent work. These samples should help us get closer to finding out what started all this. When we initiated the martial law, we took over the clinics first. Take this key. It's the office to the offices in the clinic in Uptown. Hopefully you can find some use there. Okay. Sleep for six hours. And our boy needs to eat. He's hungry. Very hungry. Okay. Oh, you found him. Thank God. Is he staying out? Um, out there? Okay. He knows how to handle himself. I guess I'm just happy he's alive. Oh, you found him. Thank God. He's staying out there. Okay. 
how to handle himself. I guess I'm just happy he's alive. What, what happened there? Did I get that? Hellsinger or whatever it's called? Did I actually get that as a weapon or no? Yeah, I did. It's a it's a bow and arrow. Okay. Well, good to know that I I can use a, a bow and arrow. Cool. I need to dump some of these in here. M four E one M nine. Wait, an M nine pistol? When did I get this? It does the same amount of damage as this, but. It's more accurate and less noise. So the M9 pistol is better than an M4A1. And then this is a suppressed weapon. This is a shotgun. Crowbars, death adder, a hatchet, which is 20 damage, katana, a machete sharpened. That's good. 26 damage. This one does 30 damage and has more knockback than the machete though. So that's probably not a good option. Sawed off shotgun, a shotgun, a shovel. Shovel's not as good. Wood board, tarn. Okay, so it's gonna be the, I guess the Hellsinger, which is 25 damage and has a lot of knockback. But it takes specifically arrows, so. We're gonna keep some of these. Hey, take this, take this, take this. Definitely take this. Filled your storage. Okay, wait, hold on. Yeah, I wear a wool hat and I can barely see anything. I like that. Okay, hold on. Flying Z, get rid of it. Sucks I have to delete all of them individually. Actually, I, I, I can just do this like this. I'll keep the weapon because I literally w earned it through playing the game. So I'll actually keep it. I can get rid of one of these. There's actually like specific, okay. A literal shotgun, death adder, etc. I guess I'll keep the shotgun on me. Keep one crowbar on me. Keep the Uzi on me. Get rid of this. We have the regular death adder, which I don't exactly need. Get rid of the, ha the dull hatchet, the damaged katana. Keep that, keep that. Put that in here. The shovel. Um, put that in here. Toron. Damaged. Wood board. And this one. Okay. I'll worry about that some other time. Jesse! Jesse. So you can't get the arrows back after you use them? Lame. Tanner Street. Alright, it's just the next block over.
strength or endurance or precision, which would help. Special weapons like that. Do that and then searching. Funny one. Perfect. Level nine, I already leveled up. Wow. I feel so special. Okay. Intellect. Be prepared. Yeah, this literally just makes me want to play... Wait, 15. What's so special about that crowbar? Hold on. What's so special about that crowbar? Nothing. Okay. Dave, you aren't here. I gave you- you gave me your word. You wouldn't be there- uh, you would be there for me. You lied. How am I going to get out of here? I hate you. Is that me? Am I playing as a guy named Dave? Hmm. Hmm. This Dave fella sounds like a real, real issue. Sounds like a real, real ball buster. You know what I mean? I like how they called this a checkered t-shirt or a checkered, a checkered shirt, but it's, it's called a plaid, not checkered. This weapon's kind of ass. Can't even collect the arrows. Dear mommy, Nana says I have to write go good B. Oh, good good B. I have to write I have to write good B to you. Oh goodbye to you. But I don't know why I keep hearing screams. I hope the P pep bowl are okay. I miss you, Mommy Julia. Okay. Die. Say hello to your little friend. Apple. Apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> A G17 pistol damaged. I'm damaged. Cigarettes. Pack of smokes. Back fence. There's a snake in my boot. Let's keep going. Bandana, broken pipe, and a broken pen. General store. Orang. Hackett? Krob Krogar? Krogar. Canned tomatoes. Money. Who just leaves money on the shelf? Who does that? It really does make you wonder. Really does make you think. Look, it's our first friend. I just actually grabbed the cleaver. Hello, since uh oh god, please help me. I've been stuck here. Ever since I started, I must have dropped my glasses somewhere on the floor in the store. 
become your companion. Huh? Your level is too low, or what? Enemy level too low. Oh, I've become too powerful. There they are, we found them. Here's your glasses. Here they are. Hello, friend. So what, do I give them stuff or how does this work? I guess I give them a weapon, so I'm gonna give them a, a machete. So, yeah, there you go. Enjoy this machete. And then I'm gonna use uh, my sledgehammer again and then just get rid of this. Alright, have fun with that. I'm gonna switch this back to a, a different weapon. There's no ammo in there. Why did you leave the clip? You do you. Alright. Here is, uh, I don't know, fucking safe house or something. Glasses big. Big glasses. Yeah, no, um, so I was watching, um, so I was watching, uh, what do you call it? Um. <clears throat> like, Guardians of the Galaxy, I was watching Doctor Strange 2, because I haven't seen it. I thought Doctor Strange 1 was alright. Um, I was just like, I'll, I'll give Doctor Strange 2 a watch since I haven't seen it. And, um... Yeah, it's, uh, my, my biggest issues with, like, Marvel movies is that they often get themselves into really bad situations because they just take their time at, like, the worst possible, like, they could just be, there could be literally, um, death right outside their door, like, a person literally threatening to kill them, life-ending ending person and the entire universe is up to them to save the day um and they're busy um making uh chit chat they're, they're busy just having having a conversation about uh like about random end lore bullshit while making like making like little jokes towards each other and the like so spoilers for if you haven't seen Doctor Strange, like, Multiverse of Madness or something. There's... Okay, you know what? I was talking about a cool story, but, you know... Whatever, just be in the way, I guess. Just... Anyways, so... It was, um... Good to meet someone else with some, uh, with the stones and stand up with these things. I tell you what, I've got some ideas for some little tools that give me advantage in the monsters. Find me the materials. Broken pipe and paperweight. Okay. So I better find a broken pipe and a paperweight.
Um, so they, they, there's this book, like, I think it's called, like, the Book of Knowledge or something. And it's, like, supposed to defeat the, the random girl named Scarlet Witch, who is, like, this girl who, like, is upset because, um, in other universes they have kids and she can't have, she never had kids in her universe. So she dedicates her, like, her magic to basically trying to, like, get into other, the other universe to where she has kids so she can be a family. Which I guess she can't do in that universe for whatever reason, she just cannot have kids. I don't know what, what it is. I have no idea. I would hope there's a legitimate reason and then that's, it is not just because she's like a literal witch who can kill people or something. Sure. New shoes. Apple. Canned beans. And, um... Yeah, so she, uh... So she decides that she has- She at some point got this, like, really deadly book that makes her even more powerful than before. And it's- She basically wants to travel to multiple, mul like, universes so she can- Yeah, she, she just wants to become the mom in one of the universes who already has a version of her who is their mom of, of these kids or something. And, um... Yeah, so, like, you just go through, there's, like, different characters and stuff that pop up from different stuff, and they're kind of, like, uh, okay, I'm getting off track on, on to, like, what the main thing is here. So, basically, um, this Scarlet Witch girl has possessed a version of her and is chasing down, um, the main character's because I don't know uh, because she wants to kill them and get them out of their way because they're a threat so uh, she's running towards them and they're like shutting so like first of all there's like a scene where like the girl is trapped in the gir this girl is like trapped inside uh Like, the main character is trapped inside, like, this machine that's, like, impenetrable normally. Um, and, um... The hospital. That place is going to be a mess. That's where we can... That's where we need to go. Um... So, I guess this is... This is his house. Or his apartment or whatever. Sledgehammer. I'm gonna switch this out for this. So, um... So, um, so they spend like a couple minutes as she's like walking towards them. By the way, probably one of my more favorite things was the fact that in the scene they had like some of the Fantastic Four characters pop up. Um, and one of the guys is the guy in like the wheelchair or something. And he's like supposed to be, he's like really smart and stuff. But anyways, other than that, um, he, he get, like they all get killed by Scarlet Witch, she just somehow manages to completely outsmart every single one of them for whatever reason. She's just able to just completely destroy these people who are supposed to be like god tier um, people. You're not here to rob me. I think a uh, personal... I'm not gonna go anywhere without my daddy's rifle. They're in the, my gun cabinet in the apartment down the street, number 202. My place is boarded up. Take the spare key. 
Okay, so we're gonna go get his his rifle or whatever. And one single rifle bolt, and then he's good for life. And then we're gonna replace whoever the fuck this girl is. Who, by the way, um, got rid of the sledgehammer that I gave her. Because she died. So good thing I waited to, like, give her it. You know what? You don't get you don't get another weapon. You can enjoy not having another weapon. I'm gonna replace you. Scrap paper. Scrap paper. A broken pipe. Is that what I need for the other one mission? This one? I need a broken pipe, yeah. There, I can do that mission. All right, let's go. My character's become too overpowered or whatever. I don't remember which place that guy's in. Bag of chips. I think it's, yeah, it's over here. Tanner Street. Nope. Nope. It's in one of these. I think, guess they're in here? No. My character needs to sleep, though. Um, so they finally get out after she murders all of them, they finally get out, uh, like, or she starts, like, stumbling towards the two characters who are, like, main characters in this story, of course. And, um, did I just turn the light on or something? This is not the room that I need to be in. And, uh... Here he is. Here, you, here they are. Thanks. You got the biohazard out outfit. Cool. Alright, I finished that funny objective. Now we have the mechanic, which... They need gas parts. I need a socket set and a fan belt. I th think... I can find that stuff in like one of these. Let me just look through these again. I already have the socket set, so I just need a fan belt. Okay. I think I can do that, but I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, you, you get them, buddy. Uh, yeah, so, um, so they spend, like, a minute trying to get her out, and she's, like, right there. She's literally just right there, like, right next to the pod. So, there's, like, they're trying to add, like, this tension to it, but it's kind of really dumb because of this one fact alone. And they, they somehow get away from her. And they, they, they like okay, so they're in they're in a really messed up situation where she's literally standing there. So she so the main character her name's like America or something, and um, she takes it upon herself to punch a hole through the thing, and then they take a minute for her to go, whoa, cool, 
you know, while this girl who is literally trying to take her power and is like right there, like right next to it, she's busy like being astonished by the fact that she can use her powers. Anyways. Oh, great. Doesn't work. Huh. So, um, yeah, so anyways, so that happens. So, you know, they're in a dire situation and they're for some reason taking a moment out of their day to be like, oh my god, ha ha, hee hee, tee hee. I guess I'm, I'm quirky, tee hee, I, I have powers, tee hee. I didn't know I could punch a hole through this, tee hee. And, um, so after that happens, uh, they, they start running and catch up with, uh, Dr. Strange, who is currently fighting, uh, his arch nemesis, is his rival, um, who is a big jerk, big fat jerk. Uh, and then after he, he, uh, after he, he meets this, you know, he defeats the big fat jerk, you know, they meet up with the two people and then they start running and as they're running, they're like shutting emergency doors and she just like shoots through them. And even though she's literally been shuffling because she's been walking on literal glass on her feet, you know, and she's just sitting there shuffling, she's somehow able to catch up with them, despite the fact that she's been, she's shown to visibly be injured in every way possible, and she's somehow keeping pace with the people who are not injured whatsoever. And on top of that, she has powers to just shoot through the doors anyways. So they just keep shooting through. So so she just keeps shooting through every door that they're shutting behind them. And then after that happened, um they they shut one other door and she doesn't break it. And so instead of in this situation where they're actually given a chance to keep like to get further away from her, uh, you know, keep your distance, they instead decide to just stand there. And wait for her to suddenly break through the door for whatever reason. Because I guess they think the the, the con the idea is that if she can't break through it immediately, that means that they're safe. Even though they could just if they have to defend themselves, they could do it further down the line. They don't need to wait and get reassurance for it. I don't know. It doesn't really make any sense. And then after they do that whole scene and then do a funny wacky uh shitty jump scare of her popping out of nowhere and going raw uh and then screeching like a like a i don't know um they then uh, mr strange does a funny magic ability where he uh proceeds to i'm gonna put this on where he proceeds to basically, uh, no, put on the sneakers. There we go. Okay. Oh God. Anyways, um, a heavy shovel that actually I think is better than my current weapon. 30, 33. Okay, I guess we're using the heavy shovel now. Um, 
so then then dr strange um pushes a bunch of water on top of her and then they proceed to move to the place that they need to go and then um they open up the portal door or whatever they well they take some time to figure out how to open the door and then um he figures it out because for some reason the girl has the watch like a broken watch that he i guess she just had on her i don't remember why she has it i don't know if there's like a scene to confirm that she for some reason had the broken watch that she gave as a gift to him um so I like the camo one more. So, um, anyways. Uh, oh, items. Alright, let me do this. Um, intellect. Strength. Automatics. Pistols. Uh, wait, no, no pistols. Fitness and then searching. So, who knew a shovel would be like a god tier item? Um, so then they figure out the, the puzzle to open up the door, and then, uh, robot heavy, no. And then, um, just, I guess they wanted to further the idea that Dr. Strange is sad that he's not with her. And she chose a, <laughs> there's a joke I want to make, but I can't make the joke. <laughs> um, but anyways, so she didn't choose Dr. Strange and, um. So, uh, so, um, <laughs> uh, it's just funny. I don't know. Okay. Hold on. Let me get all this. Hatchet damaged. Who cares? Me do. I guess I care. More lore. Who cares? I have so many weapons now and random garbage. Hank's rifle is somewhere amongst this mess. Pink is a is a Chad. Death Adder scoped. <laughs> How? Okay, hold on. I think I yeah I already checked that. Okay. You got this. Uh, is there anything over here? Oh my god. Jacket gray. Great. Okay, so, um, yeah, hold on. Hi. I'm gonna make this guy my current companion because he, he was more work than the other girl. 
The other girl can go do her own thing. She seems like she can handle herself. Um. Nice. Based. Fucking based, Hank. He's like the cool version of like, I don't know. That one guy from, uh. Fallout New Vegas, um, Boone. It's like a, he's like the, this game's version of Boone. He can handle himself. Quarantine, huh? So there's a quarantine, but it is not a, it's not actually a quarantine. We lied. There's no quarantine. Good job. Good shot. Good shit, my guy. Good shit. Um, sorry. Let me, let me like compose myself here. Um, so, uh, so they finally, um, open up the door. They go inside the, um, they go inside the, uh, what do you call it? The portal into like the area with the book of knowledge and then uh, Doctor Strange jumps for it and um, They already established that Doctor Strange is gonna be the one to use the said book so I'm I'm like I'm like sitting there like okay so as he's just standing there both of the characters decide to hesitate and take their time on jumping down which then you know like completely unnecessary by the way for them to waste this much time you know and then he spends like and then he spends like maybe five minutes too long not grabbing the book and instead decides to um, just kind of take his time and just stare at the book and then slowly decides to grab the book and then oh too late you know it's too long too late or yeah it, it, they just take way too much time So now that they've spent all this time not grabbing the book, guess who catches up with them immediately after after he picks up the book and then proceeds to completely destroy the book? Uh, you guessed it. It's the Scarlet Witch lady. She's um, she's there now and she's ready to make things more difficult for everybody. Okay, so I have a shotgun, I guess I could use, or a death adder, I guess. And also a custom stock Uzi. It looks the exact same. It just has a little bit more accuracy than normal. Get out of here. All right, go back to this. Um, so she destroys this book of knowledge immediately. Uh, you know, the, and in that time that they could have used it and done something with it and left, uh, they, they don't. And, um, It's, it's genuinely f infuriated me with how long, like, it completely took me out of it. It's not a good sign when a movie completely, you lose your entire, like, immersion or any kind of level of, you know, suspicion of disbelief or something, you know? When they just... I, they just take way too much time. They they literally just started having casual chat as if they defeated the girl. 
like water, like a, 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 a huge thing of water was somehow going to kill her. <laughs> oh my god, it's just like the witch from Wizard of Oz. All they needed to do was just add a little bit of water. <laughs> it's that simple. Wow. Why didn't they think of that before? <laughs> ah, Eto Bleh. Am I right? Haha. <laughs> fucking hell. What a, what a fucking shitty, like, I just hate when these, like, Marvel movies do that shit. They, like, add more, like, at least if you're going to make it worse for the characters, so then whenever they win, it adds a, a more of a payoff for their win. Don't make them complete idiots. At least give some reasoning that's happened to them. You know, like, give it, give it purpose rather than not. And I just don't get why. Maybe it's because, like, Disney is forcing down their, like, I don't know, like, Marvel or just the MCU in general is just forcing as much movies as possible down people's throats. And it's just making it worse. I, I don't know. I want to know. I want to know why uh, these movies, which are have so much money dumped into it, go downstairs. No. Um, you know it, it, why? Why? Hold on. What's in here? in the men's bathroom um yeah it's it just <sighs> I just wish like it wasn't garbage that's all I wish I just wish that the they had more time to work on this stuff because it's stuff like that where they they need to pad the time out that just completely ruins the films um like just the writing quality in general i haven't seen your wife sir but i did uh see what happened to everyone else who wasn't lucky enough to be in this room interesting so we need to go to the stadium what a surprise i've been here commotion there's people who are dead yep sure are Okay, I just need to get rid of some of my weapons. Um, biohazard gear. That's uh, a sickle premium. I earned that, so I could use that if I want. I could take that, I guess. I like how there's more stuff in here than there should be. Shovel. This. This. Uh, sawed off. Death adder. Baseball bat scoped. M4A1. Here's the weapons I got. Sledgehammer, which I don't need. Hazard suits. Get out of here. Cleaver, don't need that. Hatchet, I don't know just yet. Machete. I don't know just yet. Okay. My character is literally dying. Um. Yeah, so. Uh, that was, that was an annoying thing. 
and uh, I don't I just I just hate that kind of stuff I I just I just want there to be I don't know I just don't know what I want anymore at this point Wow sickle that's pretty cool 28 damage no knockback Pretty epic. Not gonna use it. That's pretty cool, though. Okay. But, yeah. I don't know. Here's what I'm hoping. Um, I'm hoping- I- I'm hoping that Guardians of the Galaxy 3 isn't just annoying. Because it seems like the Guardians of the Galaxy films tend to be pretty solid. So I'm hoping that continues to be the case. Uh, because I really, I, I watched the holiday special. And I watched volume 2. Um, what are my complaints for volume 2? Um, too predictable. All those films are way too predictable. Uh, like I knew, like you, you, like it's such, it's a, it's a huge trope to have the dad, like, oh look, this person has a long lost father, and guess what? The long lost father happens to be evil, or has bad intentions. Who also, who initially has good intentions in their own mind, but they're actually bad intentions. What a surprise. It's not like Adventure Time did this as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. What a surprise. It's not like multiple. I I'm sure there's even more examples of it. But. Yeah, that's one example. And it's, um. It's, it's just a, it was just like easily predictable. Like I literally said when I saw the character, I'm like, oh look, this is a character, this is a father. I'm sure this guy is definitely gonna be, um, I, I didn't say this, but I was like, yeah, this guy is gonna be, um, this guy is gonna literally, uh, be evil. He's just gonna be an evil man. Hello, sir. The king has what you need, my friend. Understand the king only accepts cash. In these uncertain times, friend, money is a king. No trade-ins, no loans, no credit, no... It's all cash, baby. <sighs> uh, better Uzi? Yes. I will purchase this better Uzi. Death Adder scoped. 5.56 ammo, 0.45 ammo, med kit, arrows. I'll buy more arrows. Yeah, this is the better version than this one. Ew. 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 This is the better gun. If only I can get some 9mm ammo in here. Uh, a mace? A literal mace? Sure. Why not? How good is the mace anyways? It's probably garbage. 20. I was ripped off. I was ripped off. It has 40 knockback. It's less. I mean, it, it, it does less damage, but it has more knockback, I guess. Fine, I'll use the funny, the funny mace. 0.45, what ammo does this even take? Nine millimeter. So I just need to find nine millimeter ammo, pretty much. Sharpened. 5.56, whatever. Okay, bye. We're gonna get attacked. What was that? What is this? 
Danger level nine, new town. Sure. Let's go to new town. Fun. Stay down. Uh, oh boy. Can of soda. Med kit. Is there seriously nothing in here? There's nothing in here. This was a waste of time. Wait. A door. Strange. Wonder how we get in there. I don't even know if we can. Good shot, Hank. Good shit, Hank. Good shot, Hank. Hello. You've got weapons, great. You might be able to help us out. Head up the stairs and Stefans will fill you in. This way? Magazine. No, I need a, a belt. Whatever you call it. Cash. Businessman. I'm a businessman, practically. I got my GED and business. Man. Book. Envelope. Ammo. Books. Security. Pants. And whatnot. So I can look like a security officer. For whatever reason. I wanted to roleplay as these guys. These schmucks. Hello schmuck. Okay. I'm gonna switch back to my, uh, to my shovel. Mace is cool, I guess. But, I don't know. It's not as, it's not as epic as, uh, other stuff. It's a hatchet, crowbar, whatnot. Oh, yeah, here we go. Um, take this. Oh, you can't? Okay, hold on. I'll get rid of that. Uh, put this in there. Okay. Enjoy that, my friend. Hello. I'm gonna spot a trouble here, son. You see, Richards is one of our new employees. Uh, one of our new employees ran off and with a bunch of our weapons. He headed towards Uptown. Not sure. What's Uptown? Uh, not sure what he was thinking. I don't know. Deal with, uh, the deal is he has our gun cage key and without it we're defenseless. Can you get it back? Sure. He went to Uptown Girl and he's living in an Uptown world. Um. Let's see. Get out of here. It's mine. Defcon seven. Ow, my feet. Hello? A hunting bow? 
What fur? Left all this epic gear in here. And a G17 pistol. He plays Project Zomboid. He knows that zombies can't climb ladders. Why would they ever be able to climb a ladder? That doesn't even make any sense. G17 pistol uses 9mm ammo. Doesn't matter. Not using it now. Sorry. Guess what? You're dead. Earl Burger. Uh, my money now. And also, these books are mine. Okay. Um. Blades, fitness, survival. Okay, searching. Probably should put up bl uh, blunt. What does this say? Hey, I'm dead. Okay. How'd this happen? How this happen to me? I made my mistakes. Got nowhere to run. Nice shot. Wish I could have made a shot like that. Fine. Cargo pants. Batter up. Ah, oh, shit. <sighs> Jeez, these zombies, am I right? Haha. <laughs> Um, I don't remember what I was talking about because I don't remember. Who's he scoped? Scoped. Stop that. Cheater. Literally has a different hitbox than me, so it's not fair. I can't just easily kill them. If anything, I should be reporting them and get them vac banned from the server for cheating. Claw hammer, wild buck, metal sheeting, shovel, but it's heavy. A custom stock. Nothing of interest here. That zombie can't get hit, dude. It's cheating. Like I said, they need to get vac banned for no clipping in the server. They literally don't even pay for VIP, so how do they get that shit?
this the nail board so it's a nail board Hold on nail board 20 damage jacked up Ah, oh, great. Again, dude? You know what? Hold on. Epic. Okay. Keep going. You missed. You dingus. Uh. Pocket knife. Ammo. I have not seen a um, whatever you call it. Pen. Um, <sighs> okay. New area of the map unlocked. Uptown. Yippee! Uptown. My favorite. Hank, you need to stop shooting that thing. You need to be quiet. I just couldn't for the life of me hit that zombie. Cleaver sharpened and a pocket knife. Take those. Broken pin. Money. Box. First time we see those guys. <laughs> A wall. There's nothing here. It's just a dead end. What the heck? We're full. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a note here. My character is actually really fast at reading. That's why he can do that. It's just like, okay, I read it. We're good. I read it. Are you sure, man? Yep, yep, yep. I read it. We're good. I have a photographic memory. I can just read it in like two seconds and I got it. We're good, dude. Okay, man. If you say so. Uh, compact hunting rifle. Okay. A uh, Roger. We're heading north or something. Okay. I'm sure that's what it said.
Stop. Shotgun, uh, lucky slash skilled find. Okay. My character's really good at hitting people with a shovel. Shirt with yellow checkers. That's a lucky find right there. That's a skilled slash lucky find. Dude, I'm dying. Okay. Make sure to watch where you're going. Yesterday, I saw a strange man. Very strange indeed. Stop that. Very strange man. Yesterday, I saw a guy. His name was Steve. And he said that I looked like a pair of said that I looked like a person he knew back in college. I told him, what are you talking about? He said, you look like this guy that I met back in college. He looked exactly like you. He went to school for a doctorate's. In high school? Precisely. Did one of those, um, programs where you, uh, an FAO battle rifle. Why is there an FAO battle rifle in the, the closet? battle rifle just hanging out. Get him off of me. Another FAO battle rifle. This time it's damaged. Damn. That's tough. It's just so hard, you know? It's just so hard being me. An another one. Character sucks with this gun. Hold on. I need to upgrade my long guns. And, uh... Also, my blunt needs to go up. Because I haven't been using it. Golf club. A riot helmet. A literal riot helmet, okay. I'll take it. Ooh. 
Okay. Hold on. Ugh. Okay. Been streaming for three hours. Jesus. Playing, playing nothing but these fantastic, might I add, I don't know. Tank top black. Extended mag. That's always in there. It didn't have a star on there. What a fun room that was. Definitely worth the lock picking skill. Metal sheeting. I need a fan belt. A machete? God damn it. I tried to do this with him not getting down, but... Shotgun. Regular old shotgun. Okay. Welcome to the roof. Nobody lives here, but there's some stuff here. I mean, technically, it never said alive people up here. So, Hunter Compact. Okay. Hunter Compact. Now I have a Hunter Compact rifle. Okay. Um, yeah. I also saw Toy Story. <laughs> Again, since a very long time. I haven't seen that in a, in, a, in a while. Wait, what kind of ammo? 5.56? What am I doing using using this, which is a 7.62, when I should be using... I don't know, this. Or, uh... The M4A1 or something. Um... Yeah, so anyways, uh... So, Toy Story is, um, it's still pretty decent, I'd say. Um, there's some jokes in there that I, that I realized, um, I didn't even notice until then. Because I don't, you know, like, I barely have seen it since, you know, like, I was a kid. So it was, like, it was kind of weird seeing a film after so long. Key to room 403. Well, I lockpicked it, so it doesn't matter. Um, music is pretty good, too. The, the human NPCs or whatever, they're, they're a little, like, weird to look at, but they're okay. And I also saw, um, 
The Incredibles, but I only watched like um, the beginning, like halfway through or so, because there was only like one scene I really wanted to see. Oh my god, okay. That got me. No help. There's no other reason to be in here. T-shirt. Scan me. No, I don't think I will. Character's hungry. Cookies. I'm not even gonna say it. There was something I was gonna say and I, I just decided I'm not gonna say it because it's already too late now to make the joke. Uh, a literal grenade launcher, but that's supposed to be in here for some reason. Uh, hey. Okay. Very nice. Machete again. What's with like people having machetes in their desks? Oh yeah, you know, I just like to keep my Uzi and my G17 pistol on the top shelf in my office. Does this taste take place like before 2001? Requires a key. Hmm. Requires some kind of key. The crypt holder. Okay. Richards. I still don't know where Richards is. Wait. No. These ferns look a little bit sus. Looking a little sussy. Hmm. 
I shot Hank? Uh, at least you're more helpful than uh, that one girl with blonde hair. I, I don't know what her name is. She's like the president's daughter or something. Books. A hunting bow. Thor. An automatic shotgun that does three damage. That was a hard find. $800 in cash. Okay. Let's switch it out with, uh... Here's Thor. Okay, so this gun sucks. How much? I only have 31 bullets for that. Okay. You know, whenever I saw it and it said Thor, I just immediately thought it was the hammer. Like Mjolnir. Oh man. <sighs> I'm, I'm gonna... I should get up for a second. Just stretch. Cause I've been sitting. flowing All right. I know there's like probably not even that much left like game wise here. So it might be a good idea to um to stop here as soon as I get to like an area that's safe or something. I just accidentally grabbed all of those. Yeah, I just accidentally grabbed every single one of these. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. We're gonna stop here. Let me go straight to the... Ah, shit. Help me! Help me! Okay. I have Spec Ops again. Okay. Sleep. Perfect. Save game. Game has been saved. Save and exit. Yeah. Uh, I still like Union City, even though it's it's kind of basic, de definitely nowadays. But at the time that it was released back in 2011, it was pretty good. Another game I should give a try at some point is called, um, it's called This War of Mine, which is like, uh, it's not really, it's like, it's a really, it's pretty much a way more depressing game, uh, but it's really good. Like, it's a really good story, and it has, like, stakes, it has stakes, um, and... Let me actually, hold on. Let me look at this. Um, this war of mine. This war of mine. It's a very good game, but it, it looks like people are, let me read the reviews. Maybe there's some complaints about it. For three or four days now, I have played nothing but this war of mine. I'm a veteran of Iraq, and I remember all too well the hardships it brought upon the civilians, especially in the beginning of the war. Um, I remember being heartbroken at the sight of children crying and begging for food on the uh, side of the road. This game puts you square in the middle of, it, of the experiences of those civilians. It is brutal kill or be killed world where an act of unimaginable violence may let you live uh, another day, but it can also break your heart and soul. Some days uh, you are offered a chance at compassion, and um, if you take that chance, risking your own safety and resources for others, you may find, it, uh, find you feel a bit better about yourself. Then there are the times where you are stuck between a rock and a hard place, you are unarmed, scavenging for anything to save your friends, and you peep through a keyhole and see a soldier brutally beating, and possibly worse, uh, a woman. <clears throat> he has an AK-47. Uh, you have a lockpick, a rumbling stomach, so you sit there and watch, afraid that any noise may turn this violent attention upon you. When it all is said and done, you hide until he leaves, and then shamefully pick over the bloodied... Okay. Uh, for anything she may have scavenged before the soldier um, got to her. This uh, this is this war of mine, a dark, beautiful, haunting, exhilarating, and horrible tale. Um, what's a tag? What's that tagline? The first casualty of war is innocence. It applies here uh, in any way um, you would have imagined coming from a computer game. So this person somehow has put in over 340 hours on this game. And at the time of this review, they put in 54 hours before they decided to make the review. This is back in 2014. So all these reviews are kind of old now because nobody really has talked about this game. But it, it is pretty old at this point. Um, hmm. Discover upcoming games. Thaumaturge is a story driven. Is this made by the same team? 11 bit studios. Frostpunk? They did Frostpunk? Huh. Okay. Children of Morta. So they did Frostpunk. Or did they? Did they or did they not? Let me see. Yeah, they did. Huh. Okay. South of the Circle. This is their most recent game. It's very positive reviews, but no one's talked about it. Hmm. 
Um, anyways, that's another game I may or may not end up doing. There's a really good playthrough done by um, Das Boshit, if you even remember that guy. He's doing his own stuff now, but he did do um, a playthrough of this war of mine at one point. Das Boshit plays this war of mine. 20 years ago. Um, and it's a good playthrough. Uh, very good. It goes through um, most of the details of, of the game. Well, not most of them, but a really good just show of said game. Um, and I, would, I would recommend watching that one. And there's probably no reason for me to ever play it in person. Cause, or not in person, but on, on stream at any point in time. Just because of that fact alone that it's it's a good enough playthrough to where... I feel like I don't need to play it because there's someone who did a really good job out there who um, did it who w did it way better than I could ever do it. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's not like I could do anything better, but Sorry. Okay. All right. So that's gonna do it. Uh, I hope that was somewhat enjoyable. Um. In other news, for some reason, uh, this video, in like. A span of two days has gotten over 145 views, which is good, but it's it's a video of me showing off this scam. I don't know how this is legal at all. There is no signs of who made it whatsoever. Uh... And it is entire. It is just completely designed to be a fake product. It's really interesting. Uh, and it's it's sad that a vintage store that is supposed to sell, you know, vintage items. You know, like it's it's for video games. It's a vintage video game store. Uh, that they that they were like I probably should have saw the signs. The signs was they had like four of them just sitting in the shelf, and it's in specifically a display shelf, and they're selling it for forty five dollars, forty five dollars or something. Uh, they're categorizing it as new, and it's not actually a, it's not actually a a official PlayStation Three controller they're selling it as if it is one um it's genuinely like it, it's genuinely annoying i don't know how this vintage store just didn't recognize that whoever they bought it from was selling fake fake ones at like a really cheap price and they were like if we buy these cheap ones they're, they're selling these for cheap right now we could turn them over for a profit i don't know who saw that on ebay and was like yes i'm gonna buy four of these and then we're gonna sell them for 50 dollars each and uh get our monies back easily and uh little do they know or care that they're selling not a official product that is like pretending to be an official product. Uh, I don't know how that's legal. I genuinely don't know. Um, and uh, fuck those people. Fuck them all. Uh, I hate. I hate it. And it it doesn't help that. Um. I can't just get a official PlayStation controller without running into problems. So lately, 
I've been using uh I've been using this uh Afterglow controller that I've had for a very long time and it works fine. It's a wired controller, so it should be okay for a while. So yep. Buttons are a little weird and um the like light pushing the buttons, you know, the this the the analog buttons so like for like games if you're playing metal gear solid which utilize this feature um it's kind of hard you can still do it on it but it's a little hard harder to do with it um you just don't you just don't fat finger the buttons uh to do like lighter stuff but like letting go of the button to not shoot your gun in there is uh it's like it's really hard to do it takes some time to do because if you release it too fast you're gonna shoot it so yeah i don't know i've been kind of getting around it there's some other ways you can get around it by just tapping the um r2 button to unequip the pistol that's like an another good way to do that But yeah. Anyways. Um have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, good night. Uh I will see you on maybe Tuesday. Maybe. I have a lot of work. You know, I'm working a lot this week. So yeah, I'm barely gonna have any time to stream this week. That's just how it's going to be. I guess next stream's going to be on Sunday if I don't stream on Tuesday. Uh, so, yeah. See you then, I guess.